Earlier tonight, the Rochester Public School District held a me public meeting giving community members a chance to voice their concerns with a report that was issued by the U.S. Department of Education. That report showed disparity with the district's disciplining with students of color and students who are white. ABC 6 News reporter Ben Henry was there and has more from our newsroom. James and Laura, the Riverside Elementary Gym was nearly filled tonight as a panel which included the Rochester Public Schools superintendent answered questions for nearly two hours and a lot of community members were calling for a change. So I want to know exactly what we're going to do to create a healthier uh, interaction between our schools and, uh, and the community itself. Different voices were heard Thursday night regarding the report issued from the Department of Education about the Rochester Public School District's discipline practices. I would say there was not really anything alarming in the report. It was just a piece that, yep, they're confirming what we've been studying and analyzing and working on in our district already. In 2010, the district was selected for a review from the United States Department of Education's Office of Civil Rights. For the last five years, part of the review involved the two parties working together to see if the district was discriminating against students of color. There were no reports of intentional discrimination, but the numbers did show students of color were disproportionately disciplined. And then the latter part of this five-year relationship was really spent looking at, okay, here's the pieces that you're doing well, Rochester Public Schools, and here's the pieces we want you to tweak, and here's the target areas that you have. So I'm hoping that tonight this meeting is not the last. Carlo Nimley is with the State Council for Minnesotans of African Heritage and helped make sure this meeting happened. That's to ensure community community members had a chance for their voices to be heard. And so this meeting tonight was really intended to get the outcome that I was looking for, that the parents are able to speak, but I'm hoping that the parents were heard. To bring their voice in to say, here's what we think, you haven't thought about this, and that's really what we need is that input and be able to answer questions. Just a start to the conversation, as most who voice their concerns want to change. We need a transparency. We need to engage the community. The community is ready. But there's other things coming up. Please, y'all, let's get it together for these babies. Another big part of the night was talking about the agreement the district now has with the U.S. Department of Education. That agreement is 15 pages long. We're going to have links on our website, which includes this and the full report at KALTV.com.